Hello, my fellow believers. It's Redemptor once again with another interesting video. As I told you on my previous videos, I am not a preacher, neither do I intend to be one in the future. On this channel, I do commentary videos commenting on different topics concerning Christianity and most importantly, the salvation by the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a channel where you get to hear what many preachers won't tell you the truth of the gospel. We are all ambassadors in Christ and our work is to share the truth of the gospel to the world and to the non-believers. The world is changing every day and it's a shock on the rate things are changing. Things are changing from bad to worse every single day and it's a thing to draw the attention of believers to pray the more. It's shocking how evil is coming out to the light when we all know that evil is of the darkness. I can't imagine what the coming generations will be with what we are experiencing in the world. Recently in Bahamas, transgender books were proposed to be included in the education system of that country, which caught the attention of many. Let's see what they had to say. Jesus and his legacy. Yeah. Do you recognize this? All you parents are there with school-age children. Well, is this book responsible for already sharing transgender education in classrooms across the Bahamas? We're going to talk about this this evening. The topic and the chapter about sexuality, apparently, one person is saying yes. Is it time for transgender education to be introduced to uh, Bahamian classrooms? Her response, yes. I reached out to her, I asked her if it was accurate. She said yes it is, she declined an interview, um, and uh, but she told me just to make sure I, 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 I was very correct in my, in my uh, reporting of what she said. So what she said is, um, yes, she agrees. And the reason she agrees is that so basically our kids, when they go to another country that has transgender laws on the books and policies, et cetera, that they can kind of sort of know how to navigate and play in, 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 in that environment. And so she's now getting support. Transgender activist Alexis DeMarco is throwing a support behind Wilson. DeMarco says it would be a good thing and wise for a component of transgender uh, component uh, of various different family compositions to be included in schools, meaning show different ways the family is made up, this, the, the new look of the family that's now, um, that's, now, that's now in play. Sensitizing our students to the harsh realities that these vulnerable communities face, inclusive of LGBTI people, specifically trans people, um, the issues that they face navigating in Bahamian society. First of all, we need to educate our public. We may need to educate parents who are probably dealing with trans children or trans students and don't even realize that they're dealing with them. The education has to come also from the home. If we have people who are misinformed about um, trans citizens and what it is to be trans or what it is to be intersex. And I think the education needs to start within the home setting and then trickle its way down to the educational system. I think what it is, it's more how we disseminate the information and what is the information that we are disseminating. And I want to make it quite clear in the country, in the Bahamas, we do not advocate for children um, to convert to transgenderism or try and convert to intersex or no we don't do that advocacy our advocacy is for the protection of these individuals and the protection of these students and the protection of these um, bohemian purse citizens to have the access to education and not to be thrown out of school based on their perceived sexual orientation or their perceived or known gender identity Sometimes back Pastor Gino Jennings addressed the same issue and truly it's now coming to a reality. It is one thing to have books talking of such things and it is worse to witness the same being implemented in the education systems. 
how on earth can such evil and abomination be introduced to our children? This is the worst the, the enemy can introduce to this world. I was watching and listening to a former devil worshipper explaining how Satan is pushing his agendas to the people of God through his agents. Believers should be very alert because the devil wants to take over the world by using the governments to pass his agendas. We shouldn't accept any forced agendas because that is bowing to the wishes of the devil. Uh, my issue with it all was in classrooms at what level? Uh, we see in the United States in particular what's playing out in, in, in Australia. We started the show on Monday with a woman in a video being hugely upset that three-year-olds and ten-year-olds are being showed very lewd material in books, in classes. For what purpose? With little boys with their pants unzipped and another little boy kneeling before him. They were not praying. And so that is graphically depicted in a picture in the books. In libraries across the United States, well, in certain areas of the United States, there, there's, again, this information that's being shared. Certainly, certainly you don't think, not any right-thinking individual, be they parent or not, that it's okay to, to, to just be so brash with your information to children at the primary school level and at the kindergarten level. I mean, you bring this fellow on TV talking about we must teach our boys how to be girls. You know, what kind of education? We are not sexualizing our children. Thank you. Our school's supposed to make sure that they learn math, English, comprehension, religious knowledge, history. Anything but them boogery and thing, they ain't learning that. They ain't learning that. And so whoever, just the Marco and whoever, Shamako, whatever the hell your name is, Belinda, let me tell you something, get your head on right. Because first of all, you're talking about, you're going on the show talking, she sent me a text. But I must educate myself. I, when I say she talked about oh, Jesus, who, and his, who sent you a text? Belinda sent me a text. Belinda Lewis. Sent me and text. so I must educate myself. So I say I listened to her message, and she said, "Oh, in this book, it's being taught Jesus and his legacy." I asked my children, "What, what, what is being taught? Is this book, is this book pushing transgender, transgender in classrooms?" Transgender and thing is being. It is not. This book is benign. It highlights some definition, but it talks about the Christian way of sexuality. It talks what Christianity says. Homosexuality is wrong. So what she said on her show was disingenuous. But I don't know why she's pushing this agenda. Belinda, please back up this agenda. Repent and back up this agenda because you are on the wrong side of history. You are on the wrong side of history, miss. And then, listen, I want to speak to every parent. Make sure you all go through all them books in these classrooms, in these schools. I want to send a message out to you, um, um, Glennis Anna Martin. I was happy listening to this panel challenge even the Minister for Education in Bahamas to come out and address the same issue. Let's have many of such discussions everywhere because they are very healthy to our societies for the sake of standing with what is right. To what extent can the devil go? What makes him think he can destroy the people of God? Celebrities and schools are the main breeding zones for the devil. Let's keep our children from consuming the content brought out on our screens by these celebrities. Let's pray for our children all the time because the influence in schools is huge and most of the heads of the schools have been compromised. Any classroom and schools have this nonsense in it, we're coming after you. Because you got to make sure that our children are educated properly, mm -hmm. not sexualized. My children, my daughter sent me a video. She was in religious daughter's class. And the video was talking about um, accepting homosexual relationship and marriage. I said, what the hell Hold is on, this? In the religious knowledge class? In the religious knowledge class. I followed that to the principal. I said, we want this teacher out of here. Your private school? The pri and there's a Christian school. educated uh, yes. daughter? I tell him, hell no, my children didn't come here to learn that nonsense. But I'm a, how a man can love a madam, not a man. And I must accept that. She sent me that video. I said, no, 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 no. So, they, so then this information, so Belinda's right, Cassie, see, Cassie, yeah. you see, can't but, get no, hold, on, hold on, hold huh? on. This, right. this, when I say Belinda's right, Belinda's right in that, obviously, like she say, it's already being taught in schools. This book does not teach it. This is the book they were learning from. This book is benign. This book is not teaching it. The teacher decide they won't bring that nonsense in. Yes. And so we said, no, no, no. She was a teacher from England. I told them, get with a hawk. She's back to England now. 
Janice, you can't come in my country teaching my children foolishness. Don't come in this country. Now, you want to be in England, and you can teach them all them boogery things you want to teach them. You can teach them whatever you want to teach them in England, but not in the Bahamas. Don't bring that around you. And I also want to say to all your parents, all your parents who've been emailing me, texting me, and say, listen, you all get ready. Because the time will come when all of us can have to stand up yes. to protect our children. Whether we, we actually, I think we have to show this government because what this government is doing is testing the water to see if we, we, we be passive and we benign and we can let it slide. We will not let this slide. Not one filthy book will be led in our classrooms, in our libraries. I can lead the charge. When I say let's go, I need you all to let's go. Because I ain't letting it happen. And the onus is on parents. Again, pay attention. Cassie has caught that because why? His daughter came to him and he listened and he quickly paid attention. And also the video that was showing, it's an assault, Peggy. It's an assault on three-year-olds. What, what defense do they have? A three-year-old, eh? A five-year-old, an eight-year-old, a 10-year-old, a 12-year-old, even a teenager. It's, it's still coming into him or herself. You're going to go and castrate that little boy or little girl and give them her hormone uh, treatments that's going to change their puberty and, and, and affect all of the, like, like where are we going, to what end? Shanique, this agenda is trying to indoctrinate our children at an early age. I'm very disappointed in the Belinda being one of our biggest fans. Belinda is showing me that our season of leadership is over in this country. But I want to move from Belinda to the Minister of Education. Ma'am, how come we ain't hear from you yet? Last, you, last week you were the big hero on the RCI project and now there's no words. We need to hear from the Minister of Education. Do we need to hear from the Minister yes, of Education? Yes, we this? need to know her position because this is concerning her ministry. When it was investment we and got, aviation, she spoke up. We need, now brave, we, need, we need Brave David. Brave David, I need to hear from you. I need to hear from you on this matter because you are ultimately responsible for this country. You are the Prime Minister. We need to know what is your agenda, what is your, how you feel about all this transgender in the school. Do you agree with it or do you don't agree with it, Mr. Brave David? I want to know. The nation wants to know. When the Bible says that money is the root of all evil, you must believe. Because the devil has toughened the economy of countries so that many will be frustrated to seek solutions from him. For money and wealth, Many have sold their souls to the devil and such people don't care. They will do all kinds of evil because they know their lives have been shortened because of their covenants with the devil. These celebrities know the duration they are given to enjoy wealth, which I doubt they even enjoy because of the end. at the end of the day, they know it is just for a short period of time and they pay for their actions. During the time they are alive and have a covenant with the devil, the, the devil utilizes them to his benefit. The poison had crept into the elementary schools, the junior high school, and of course, the high schools as well. Mm -hmm. But I want to show you how wicked it has uh, become just on the first and second and third grade level. Mm -hmm. How manipulative, if you will, Satan has become. Uh, as you know, in grade school, they make books to teach your children the ABCs. Mm -hmm. You know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatnot. But uh, the devil <laughs> have went in gay book business. Amen. Now, I want you television viewers to get this. You that don't like me, <laughs> should just continue to write me and enjoy it. That's right. Uh, in fact, call your pastor to the television because he need to, this too because you probably got a faggot as a leader too, you know. <laughs> but I, now the book was published by Two Lives Publishing. <laughs> 508 North Swarthmore Avenue, Ridley Park, PA. Two Lives. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, I just want to show you, the name of the book is the Family Alphabet Book. I want the camera to zoom in on this. Get it now. This is the name of the book, the Family Alphabet Book. Mm -hmm. The question is, what family? That's right. What kind of family? Is it the normal family, you know, husband and wife? That's the only way youngins going to come here. That's right. I came here because I had a mother and a father. Amen. 
I had a mother and a father. That's right. In fact, Jesus came here because he had a mother and a heavenly father. That's right. You get what I'm telling you? That's right. That's right, though. But Satan has put a twist on it. <laughs> and what he's doing is showing the children or trying to prove to the children mm -hmm. that there is another alternative. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have one father and one mother. You can have fathers <laughs> and mommies. That's right. Now, let's see how manipulative the family alphabet <laughs> book is. Now, I just want to show you <laughs> the wickedness that these devils resort to. Now, here you have a page demonstrating the alphabet G. And you see a little girl watering, you know, plants and whatnot. And I want my viewers to get this, so I want the cameras to get it very well. Now, teaching the child the alphabet or the letter G, it says, to my mom, my moms <laughs> like it when I play or when I help them work in the garden. My moms. <laughs> so this is supposed to be the daughter. And these are the two lesbian mothers. Amen. My moms, I said my moms, <laughs> like it when I help work in the garden. Mm -hmm. Showing the young girl, long before she even get near to be a woman, mm -hmm. that you don't have to be straight. Yeah. That's right. You don't have to be straight. Mm -hmm. See, this is why the gay community is upset with me. Amen. Sorry. Sorry. And even some of you men that claim you straight is upset with me because you got relatives that are gay and you don't like it when I speak out against them because I'm speaking out against your daddy, mm -hmm. your brother, Amen. your old slap happy grandpappy, mm -hmm. and uh, including your uncle. And in many cases, I'm speaking out against you. Right. Amen. <laughs> now let's get to the letter P. Mm -hmm. Camera, get close on this. Uh, it says, my moms like to take me to the aquarium mm -hmm. to look at the penguins. <laughs> These are the two moms here, the two gay women. Amen. That's supposed to be the mother to this one girl right here. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm telling you? Amen. My mom, now I want to say to you viewers, you better check the books. That's right. That your children bring home from school. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. 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 The people are the losers. The people that make a covenant with the devil, they are the losers. Because they leave their families languishing in poverty after they are gone. So they were so selfish enough not to care even about the people they love. The people that matter to them. So at the end of it all, the people come to realize that they didn't matter to that person. But money and wealth they did. The devil takes everything from them, including their lives. So what's the benefit of selling out your soul for a short-term deal, yet the Bible is very clear that the work of the devil is to steal, kill, and destroy. When will people ever learn that the devil has nothing to offer? Why can't we learn from Jesus Christ our Lord? The devil tempted him, but Christ knew that a man can't live by wealth and money alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God, as the Bible puts it, people are perishing for lack of knowledge. May the Almighty God deliver his people from the hands of the enemy. Thank you for your company and for your support. I don't take it for granted. I really appreciate you. If it is your first time coming across our channel, kindly consider subscribing. Press the notification bell so you will be notified once we upload a new video. Please remember to give our videos a thumbs up. I love you so much guys. Bye bye for now and see you on the next one. Shalom.